Hello everyone, Green Gemini here, and welcome back to Sim Casino and us building up our casino empire. So last episode, I got some more hotel rooms put onto here. Uh, we got the sports book area, the sports betting area put on here too. So we're increasing our size here little by little. Um, it's, it's not easy to do when you have very, very little money. This is what happens in the beginning of building your casino and everything, right? Um, I know it's it's kind of slow going right now because we can't go into the negative. Uh, however, we are getting to a point to where um, I, I really need to expand a lot on our hotel area because that will help generate a lot of money. Um, and then, let's see... We'll do that. We need to get that done. We need to get there's there's also a lot of um, like table games and stuff like that that we can put in here. And uh, yeah, there's just there's a lot that we can do. So we're, we're going to we're just going to keep going. We're going to keep chipping away at this. What I want to do today is I want to focus on extending this out this way and then probably adding in some type of high dollar or higher dollar um, slot area back here. Not necessarily a high roller um, or a high limit. So the high limit gambling zone gives us like five, uh, no, it gives us 10 and $25 slots. We don't need to go that high. Uh, I think if we go up to like dollar, $5, I think we can do that like back here. I know upstairs we currently have, I think these are dollar slots that are up here. Um, I also want to look at the staff scheduling too, because here's the thing. We've got, we've got staff that's here constantly and uh, we don't need that. So we need to be able to save a little bit of money by doing that. But first we're going to extend onto this. Um, there was a comment that said that I could, if I wanted to, I could put like a wine rack in here. Uh, which would kind of help boost the price of the room up a little bit. I, I might do that. It just kind of depends. Um, I, I kind of like having a wing that has very, very cheap rooms to it. Just to get the incentive of people to uh, to actually stay here. Um, kind of helps give me a little bit of boost to income. So let's slow the game down here real fast. I've got $252,000. Allergies are really bothering me today, so bear with me, <laughs> okay? Um, and I think I said it was about $25,000 per each, like, six units here that uh, that we've got. So if I want to go out four more, and this was nine, so 36, because nine times four is 36, because nine times two is 18, 18 and 18 is 36, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, Easy math there, right? Who says you wouldn't use math when you grew up? All right, so let's go with our foundation. That goes this way. So 14 by 36. It gets us a decent, uh, a decent amount down here. That's for sure. I like that. Um, we might, depending on how this goes, we might skip one of the rooms that if it's lined up with this pretty well i might skip one of the rooms we'll see we'll see let's do um let's use our cloning tool uh there we whoa okay there we go so one two if i put this one where does this go here it's kind of annoying so the edge of it does line up with that, but it doesn't line up with the elevator in itself. That's okay though. I think I might be okay with the hallway being off by one. And again, I might not. That might get on my nerves. Oh, you know what I could do? You know what I just realized? <laughs> I, I hate to do this. Oh, I really hate to do this. But I think if I move this over one, and have this a hallway of three, but then that's going to be uneven. Why does that have to be like that? Why why can't I have anything even like I want it to be? <laughs> uh, 
All right, you know what? We're, we're just going to say screw it. Um, we'll have the hallway off by one. So cloning tool, give me this one. And we'll go one, two. And then this one should go right here, three. And then we'll skip one. We'll go one, two, and skip that one. Which of course now, <laughs> now I've got to remove these walls that are in here, which is fine. Uh, give me my wall removal. that get rid of that wall that already has a wall gone get rid of that one uh, give me that and it's control to fill that one in thank you awesome okay so then i should be able to then go with a foundation here to there and just connect that up like that and like i said it'll be off by one but eh, it's okay um, I, I think we'll be okay by just putting a single door here. Then again, I could do that over here. Oh, do we want to do that? Do I want to move the whole thing? Arr! No, because then I, I would just I would have to redo a whole bunch of crap. So no, I'm, I'm not doing it. We're, we're gonna we're gonna deal with it like this. No, we're not. I'm, I'm uh, I'm torn. I'm torn. Let me know in the comments below. Should we fix this? Should we should we have it line up with the elevator? Because the elevator is going to go here. I don't know. I, I don't know what I want to do yet. I don't know. Is it really going to be that big of a deal? Eyedropper. That. That. Thank you. That, 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 that one, that one, that one, the whole inside, the whole outside, the whole outside. Perfect. Okay. All right. So we do have a little indoor area here. Now, granted, we have the hallway that's connecting this. This is going to be a foundation that goes all the way to here. Should we have, ooh, I'm thinking we have like a little outside area go from here over to that one. Hmm, interesting. I don't know if I want to do that for sure or not, but we'll see. But yeah, well, okay, we've, we've spent about uh, $100,000, okay. That's kind of what I was planning on doing. Uh, let's go ahead and dismantle this wall here. Fill this in. Fill that in. And then I think what I want to do is I want to, de I definitely want to grab these. And if I go, how many is this? That's 10 down. One, two on each side. Okay, yeah, perfect. And then I should be able to get two rows in here. Hang on, let's pause the game. Uh, give me this one. Which one do I like the most? What's my favorite? No, not that, definitely not that one. This one is one of my favorites. So let's go 10 this way. Okay. And then we're gonna add one more row in here. Perfect, fit. Uh, let's go ahead and add actually this one. I love this one. No, I want that one. Yes, that one. So then we'll add 10 into here. Okay. Now these are all going to be, what's the highest I can go? I can go, ooh, I can go $10 if I wanted to. Mm, so then high limit must then be what? 50, 50 and 100? Or 25 and 100 or something like that? I don't remember. I already have dollar slots, so we'll make these all $5. Uh, jackpot will end up being $5,000, I think. Uh, do I have... I do have bigger advantage. Okay, so we can have that be up to 20%. Um, 
What's the maximum that I can... Oops. 50,000. Oh, tw no. That's wrong. Five dollars. Okay, ten thousand is the maximum prize. So if we do ten thousand, takes the house advantage to thirty-nine percent. We gotta get it down to forty percent or twenty percent. Jackpot chance, doubling chance. Okay, let's go three percent on the doubling. Okay. All right, so we'll do that. Max prize is, what is going, okay, so obviously something is off. Oh, oh, okay, I'm selecting an actual thing. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Apparently I was click holding and then releasing on one of these, so it was selecting one of those by accident. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense of what happened. Um, let's do 7,500. House advantage is still at 40%. If we do that, um, take that to 4% then? Wow, really? Uh, 40, take that to 45. No, okay, let's do that. Let's go down to 43 and then apply to all in row, okay? So I want to do the same thing here. We're going to go $5. We're actually going to give maximum jackpot of $10,000. Um, double bet will take down. Single bet will take up to 45. And then apply to all in row. I'm going to change up a couple of these games here just because I feel like mixing them up. Santa. Zombie. Zombie. Okay, we'll do that. And then these back here, these will be $7,500. So $5 at $7,500. I'm sorry, 7,500, not 75,000. Um, okay, that's perfect. And then apply to all in row. Uh, give me lucky mill, lucky mill. I'm gonna do queen of sands, queen of sands. Let's get you over to these. It's the only thing about this is that when you hit apply to all in row, it changes the game too. I don't like that. We're already at Alvin Forest, do classic sevens. Okay. Hopefully that will give us a little bit more income. People might be a little bit more inclined to go to some, uh, some higher rated slots here. Hopefully. We'll see what happens with that. This is what maximum of $10,000 we have our pickup at 25%, so that should be at $2,500. So fingers crossed we get a little bit more money from that. Cost us about another 100,000 to put that in there, but that's okay. Um, I do want to go ahead and get um, a newspaper ad put out. It is Wednesday currently, so we're gonna wait a day, I think. What if, what if I were to do four days? I don't know if I wanna spend $12,000 on that, but what if I did five days? It's 15,000. So that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That lasts me through the entire weekend. And we're doing it. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. I, I'm just, I'm gonna pull in the trigger and we're doing it. The more people we can get in here, the more money we're going to make. It's already, what, 5 o'clock in the evening on a Wednesday, and we've only had 376 people in here. So, kind of need to do it. All right, so let's go to our hotels. Uh, that's laundry. I need bedroom. No, I need private bathroom. We've got to go through, and we've got to get all of this in here. If you hear people in the background, I do apologize. It is... Um, so my mother-in-law lives with me, love her to death, 
Um, she was working in the evenings, but she is no longer working in the evenings anymore. She is at home. So the dogs will be out and running around and she might yell at them to get back inside. If it does, I apologize. Like if you hear things, I'm sorry. I will do what I can to try and mute as quickly as I can. However, I cannot promise anything. So that's just the way it is. Okay, so right away it looks like we have a little bit of an issue with reception. Um, <clears throat> I know I wanted this to be a little bit even, however, I might need to get another person in here. Uh, we also need to go through, you know what, I'm going to set all of these hotel room prices and then we'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've got all of those prices set. Here's what I'm going to do. So I'm actually going to take out uh, these two right here. So wall removal, take out those two spots there. We will take the fence and go that way with it. Uh, D-zone that. Dismantle this here. Do that. We'll go with another one of these. Uh, we'll go one, two, three, for now. Actually, you know what? I think we're just going to do two. Dismantle that one. Yeah, we'll, we'll just do two. I think two is enough. Uh, let's see. And then that should give me a decent amount of room income. So where did, where did we stop at? Like 88,000, I think it was. Or no, it was 89,000. I used 15,000 to do the thing, right? So 89 minus 15 is a 74,000. Um, okay, so we're already up to 81,000, good. So we should have people coming back here, working on that. Um, I do want to look at our scheduling too. Um, so of course, the more people we get in here, the more they're going to use the ATMs, uses our money. So we'll kind of see how that goes. Uh, we're doing better now with people. Like we put that ad out, we already have 200 more people in here than what we did before. So advertising is key, right? You've got to do more advertising. You have to. Ugh, stupid vending machines. Kind of wish I wouldn't put them in there. Actually, no, you know what? I can, um, oh no, people cannot use this entrance because it is not undone. Okay, there we go. All right, so now people can move a little bit more freely in here. Works for me. I might be, I might have more people in here, but my money is not doing too good right now. Oh, this is not good. Um... I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not I'm not gonna worry about it. We are going to be okay We will be okay. We're actually up to almost where we were before we put the ad in So that should help a little bit I really don't want to take out a loan uh, 164,000 we did 165,000 in construction 15,000 in advertising fees Okay, so we spent a little bit. Our return of investment is going to be pretty decent here, I think. Vault collection was actually up to 19,000. That's good. Right now, by the looks of it, we're going to end up getting 10,000 deposited back. How are we doing over here with these? Do we have any... Do we have money? I know. It's like... This is kind of like, um, you know, when you were in your 20s and broke. I mean, and I mean broke, broke. Like, this is going through your car looking for change broke for cigarettes. Well, okay, that's that's what I did when I was in my 20s. I was a smoker when I was in my 20s. I've been smoke-free now for, what, this is 2021, so six years. Thank God. Um, but, but in my 20s, I mean, I was smoking like two packs a day, and I spent money on cigarettes instead of food. And when I needed money, I would go to my car and look for change. That's what I did. 
do not smoke kids do not smoke do not attempt to smoke do not try and smoke do not think you're cool trying to smoke I just got to put that out there it is not cool I blame that for the health issues that I've had later on in life in my 30s anyway um so coming up on no did it not bring me any No, I did not take any money from the bank. Hmm, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. We'll see. All right, but we've got that going. We've got this going. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video again. Um, actually, no, I'm not. No, I am not. We are going to look at our staff. Uh, currently, right now, I have two staff members here. It is 2.30 in the morning. Looks like we do have money being emptied out of these, but it's going directly into the ATMs and not into my pocket, uh, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Looking at the time, okay, so security agents, we don't really need them here in the middle of the night, I don't think. So staff operation, trusted staff, security guard during our closed hours. It says I need two. I'm going to take it down to one. During the morning hours, we'll do two. And then daytime, we'll have four. I'll kind of free them up a little bit. Because I want another one to go. Let's add a patrol into here. So we're going to go area patrols. We're going to add an additional patrol in here. And I'm going to say he goes from here. So new patrol. There. To there. There and here. So that's kind of his little patrol areas through this way. And we're going to call this uh, sports and we're going to say sports and uh, slots. So we'll have that one go through there. Just kind of keep an eye on that stuff. Now, as for the rooms. Now, it says that there is, let's see, where is our lodgers? Okay, so our lodgers come between 11 o'clock at night and 3 o'clock in the morning. Marketing events, give that a boost to 59, good to know. So, we did have a decent amount of visitors today, so I'm happy about that. The rooms are not currently full. I'm not too happy about that. Previous day, 65. Okay. We actually didn't do too bad with money yesterday. Now, we didn't have any money deposited into the bank. However, we didn't pull any money from the bank. So we're currently sitting at about $87,000. Um, giving what we have right now, we should be able to kind of... Oh, oh, I totally forgot about that. Um, hang on. So we should be able to sustain ourselves fairly well for the next couple of days. Come the weekend, the Saturday, Sunday, um, that's going to make things pick up a little bit, I think. All right, so security guards, scheduled hours, close time, you need to not be there. Uh, retail worker wise during close time you do not need to be there you do morning time you do not daytime both of you here closed morning that's good that's good okay close time you do not need to be here and you do not need to be here if people are thirsty or anything like that in the hours that were closed there are vending machines available uh, I think we will add uh, a couple of vending machines back here and maybe 
No, I'm not going to add any vending machines over there, but I will. I need to add some wall art over there because it's kind of bald. Wall is definitely kind of bald. Uh, in the morning, we will only do... We have one there, we have that one here, and I think that's it. Oh, pardon me. Okay. Uh, and then daytime hours, obviously, everybody is here. And that's the same as this. Yeah. Closed, yeah. Okay. Alright, so that's fixed. Chef we don't have yet. Housekeeping, that would be a good idea to put in here, though. Um, housekeeping... No, workman, no, pit boss, no. Trusted staff, we don't have any of them yet. Yeah, we've got one in here. All right, so trusted staff, we're going to say closed. From midnight to 9 a.m., I think. When when do I have this guy here? He is... I forgot. Uh, security guard, he is here from... Uh, 8 a.m. until 1 a.m. Oh, and I just remembered too, I still have to do the weekend stuff. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. All right, so security guard is good there. Trusted staff. He's, okay, he's fine. Um, let's do daytime one. I'm actually going to change that. We're going to go back to security guard. <laughs> change that to here. Okay. And then um, 8 a.m. is when they come in. Let's go back to trusted staff. <sighs> I don't think I need them here that early. It's fine. It's okay. We'll, we'll leave that at 9. Um, Saturday and Sunday, on the other hand, we'll go one to eight. We'll say nobody. This is trusted staff. All right, morning. Um, no, just one here the rest of the time. Uh, security guard. Closed from 2 to 7. We're going to have 2. Daytime, we will have 4. Morning from 7 to noon, we will have 3. Saturday and Sunday. Uh, retail worker. Okay, so during our closed hours, actually, we're going to leave daytime open until 2 a.m. Um, we will leave that open. Both of those will be open during the day. And this will also be open. Closed. We'll get rid of all that. Those are already gone. Daytime, both of those are open. Morning, one open. Uh, only one open here in the morning for that. Closed, they'll both be here. Daytime, they'll both be here. Uh, not going to have that open during the morning. Okay. Scheduling is the hardest thing. It is the hardest thing to do in this game. And it's just because it's so tedious, right? You have to make sure that you have all of your people in the right areas and everything else. And when you have multiple layers of different types of jobs, so you have the cashiers and the vaults. So those are your security people. Trusted staff has your bedding window and all of your tables. Um, retail is several different things. You've got your players club. You've got the you got the bar. You've got hotel reception. You know, adding in all those different layers and everything. You you kind of got to be a little creative with um, not necessarily doing major chunks at a time. But you also don't want to micromanage it so much to where you're doing it at an hour at a time, right? You, you want to be able to have those little spaces that are in there in order to do it. Okay, so that's good. That's going to save me some money with staff for sure. 
Um, it is Thursday at 10 a.m. We just had a ton of people come in here. Not entirely sure where they just went to. But it's okay. Um, do we have a need for business services in this one? Yeah, a little bit. But definitely just a little bit, not not a lot. I don't know why that does that. All right. So we're at about 87,000. We're actually still right around where we were when we got the ad. So that's good. Um, oops, we just, <laughs> just paid for a stocking transaction. It's fine. Looks like we do have a decent amount of people coming in and coming to the quarter slots and to the... Oh, these are all quarter slots. Okay. Not a lot going to the $5. That's okay. Not a lot going to the dollar. Again, that's okay. We're just going to have to kind of keep an eye on our money because we're, we're down to $35,000 in our vault. And I don't know, we may have have went too big too fast. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens with that, but I think the next episode we're gonna have to take out a loan. We are, because I want to be able to get more in here. Um, I actually have a great idea for what we're gonna do next. So next episode I'm gonna actually put an escalator right here in the middle, go up to the next floor. Um, and then we're going to have to change this around a little bit in order to do that, I think, because the escalator is going to go right here. So yeah, that's, that's going to have to move just a teeny tiny bit. Um, but we're going to have a, a, a nice area up here of slot machines, table games and, and stuff like that. And then we'll have our elevators there and there which that will allow us to have rooms up here. And then we can actually do this step up here, link that to the hallway that's going to go right here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because we'll have the same hallway here coming over that way for our hotel rooms that are connected there. So that'll work out. That'll actually work out very, very nicely. I like that. So questions, comments, concerns, put in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, go ahead and do so. And if you are subscribed to the channel, don't forget there are channel memberships available to where you can get some extra perks. You get loyalty badges, extra emotes and stuff like that to put in the comments or chats when we go live and all that kind of fun stuff. So check that out. Click on the join button and those uh, options will be available to you on what you can do. Everything that you do with that part of the channel, joining as a member actually does help uh, support the channel a little bit more than what just watching the videos does. Everything is greatly appreciated with what you guys give. So that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.